Hello and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss the latest religious news from an Orthodox Christian perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. The Orthodox Film Festival. The only international festival of Orthodox Christian films, Bizant Fest has finished receiving applications from participants. Orthodox topics, culture, and Christian values, these are the criteria for assessing authors by an international jury. Interestingly enough, plot lines should not be necessarily religious. The festival management notes, I quote, the films may not appear to be orthodox in full measure, though they are created by orthodox Christian art directors who in their creative work remain faithful to the Christian sense of dignity. We're looking forward to the festival shortlist and hoping to see works by Russian authors in its competitive program. Russia and Greece together through the centuries. Russian and Greek music, folk dances, creative workshops, displays of Russian and Greek dresses, exhibitions and charity events. These and many other activities were held at the 5th International Charity Festival of Christian Culture, called Russia and Greece, together through the centuries. The event is devoted to the consolidation of friendship between the peoples of Russia and Greece, by introducing the traditions and cultures of these countries. Usually the festival is held on the Greek island of Corfu, but this year it was held in Moscow at the main church of the Russian Federation Armed Forces and at the Church Council's Hall of the Cathedral of Christ the Savior. As part of the festival, there was an award ceremony for the winners of the Russian National Children's Art Competition called Friendship of the Russian and Greek Peoples. 30 children from large families were presented with valuable gifts for the first day of school. Orthodoxy in Slovenia An Orthodox convent will be built in Catholic Slovenia. The primate of the Serbian Church, Patriarch Porfiri, reports on his Instagram account that the church will be dedicated to the Nativity of the Most Holy Mother of God. He also said that the property for opening the first Orthodox convent in the country was bought by the Serbian Orthodox Church. I quote, There is no limit to our joy. Beautiful landscapes, wonderful nuns, remarkable people. It is a blessing for friendly Slovenia. End of quote. Slovenia does not belong to the traditionally orthodox regions of Europe, as even before the 1054 schism, Christians of what was to become Slovenia remained in the area of Catholic influence of Rome. Nowadays, the territory of Slovenia belongs to the canonical responsibility of the Serbian Orthodox Church. Unity or division. All the churches should recognize the Orthodox Church of Ukraine, as there is no other path to unity. This is what Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople stated during his visit to Kiev. He assured that he had granted the Thomas to Ukrainian schismatics, I quote, with the aim to overcome the schism and promote the unity of the Orthodox in Ukraine. Unfortunately, he didn't specify whether this goal had been achieved. However, the Chancellor of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Metropolitan Anthony of Borispol and Brovery, believes that Patriarch Bartholomew's adventure for appropriating special powers in Orthodoxy will lead to changes in the doctrine. I quote, The process is put in action by Patriarch Bartholomew with the aim to create a new model of the world Orthodoxy in which a special place is prepared for him as the Eastern Pope, with unprecedented powers and privileges, will inevitably involve changes in other spheres of the life and work of the Church, including the foundations of the Orthodox doctrine." End of quote. Metropolitan Anthony believes that creation of the OCU in Ukraine by the Patriarch of Constantinople has de facto destroyed the pan-Orthodox unity and led to the division of the local Orthodox churches. The Man of God in Movie Theaters 
The winner of the People's Choice Award of 2021 Moscow International Film Festival, the film by Serbian art director Jelena Popovic, The Man of God, is now shown at movie theaters. For now, however, only in Greece. The movie recounts the life of Saint Nectarius of Aegina. Among the co-stars in the film is the Russian actor Alexander Petrov with Mickey Rourke as his partner. It hasn't been reported when the movie is going to be shown at Russian cinemas. Murdered for autocephaly. The files on the murder of Metropolitan Alexei Gromatsky in 1943 have been declassified in Russia. The murder was organized by the Nazis, together with the Ukrainian nationalists. Metropolitan Alexei refused to switch to the jurisdiction of the autocephalous Ukrainian church, and that was the cause of his murder. During the occupation of Ukraine, the Nazis supported the restoration of the autocephalous Ukrainian church. Ukrainian nationalists began to actively help the schismatics, while most of the canonical Orthodox bishops proclaimed the formation of an autonomous Ukrainian church under the jurisdiction of the Moscow Patriarchate. Metropolitan Alexei was elected as its head. Among the published documents from the archives, there are notes written by Archbishop Piterim of Kursk and Belgorod. In 1943 he wrote, I quote, the cases of the murders of autonomous priests by Ukrainian nationalists have become more frequent. The autocephalists took it a step further. They determined to eliminate their principal opponent, Metropolitan Alexei. Germans were not against such an action either. They found the power and influence of Metropolitan Alexei Gromatsky unprofitable for them as well. Metropolitan Alexei was killed on May 7, 1943. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you next time on The Orthodox View.